Hi, this week in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, we'll show you how fast and easy it is to set up file storage for all of your enterprise needs. File storage, unlike block volume or object storage, offers a robust file system with the ability to protect your data with an integrated snapshot capability. Customers that are running microservices, analytic applications, highly scalable parallel workloads, or who want to shift to the cloud or who have Oracle applications, like Oracle eBusiness Suite, need scalable and highly available storage infrastructure to host their mission-critical data. Oracle File Storage Service is a dynamic, enterprise file storage service that scales to meet the needs of enterprise customers. With industry-leading performance and enterprise-grade scalability on a distributed architecture, you can start small and scale up to exabytes without the cost of upfront provisioning and the headaches of trying to predict storage growth. Under the hood is a persistent shared file system that supports NFS v3 with NLM for full POSIX semantics and data at rest encryption. We're also the only public cloud provider to provide storage efficient snapshot capabilities. This means you only have to pay for incremental snapshots and not full backups. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through a demo of how to use the new file storage service in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So let's get started. Under storage, I'm going to select the file systems. Now let's go ahead and create a new file system. And now let's name it. I'm gonna call it demo file system. And now I'm gonna choose an availability domain for my new file system. I'm just gonna choose AD1. And please note all file systems are encrypted. And now I'm going to name a mount target. And this step creates an access point for one or more file systems. And in this case, uh, I'm going to access the demo file system. And now I'll go ahead and choose a cloud network. I'll choose the subnet, I'm gonna choose AD1. And in this case, everything else is optional and I'm just gonna leave the defaults and create this file system and mount target. And I can see it's working here. Great, so now I have a file system. Now let's take a look at how to access the data path for this file system. From the command line, I'm connecting to a Linux machine in my Oracle cloud. And for this demo, I'm running Ubuntu. First, let's install the NFS client. Now let's create an NFS mount point. We'll call it Mount NFS Demo. And now I want to go ahead and mount my file system. But to do that, I actually need to know what my private IP is. So I'm going to go find out what that is. So I go to Storage, the Storage dropdown. I click under File Systems. I'm now going to go into the details of the demo file system. And if I click here, I can see the mount commands. So we've got a mount command. I'll just modify it slightly. So I can see that 10.0.0.5 is the mount target that I need to access. Now let's take a look at the file system. And we can see here that it shows up as mount NFS demo. And now let's write a file. And there we go. Great, that concludes this demo. Today we demonstrated creating a file system in Mount Target, and we now successfully have written some data. And that's how you create and mount a file system, all in under 90 seconds, saving you potentially days or weeks of time and delivering an industry-leading price performance storage offering. For more information about our file storage service and the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, check out these resources below.